Good morning guys, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. So yesterday I did a video on cleaning products and I had actually done, um, included in that, uh, what I use in my washing machine. But the video was super long so I decided to make it into two. So this is the bit about the washing machine. I hope you enjoy it and as I said in my video yesterday, this, the prices I quote relate to what I paid for the products. The, um, the prices of the products might vary in your areas or in your country, but I'm just giving you an estimate. So thanks for watching and enjoy. So now I want to talk to you guys about my washing machine and what I use to wash my clothes, everything like that. So this is not a homemade product, but it's one that I recommend that you guys should try out. Eco balls from EcoZone. You get three in the pack and there's, I think they cost around £16. I'll put the link for you guys below. Um, they last up to a thousand washes. A thousand washes. That For us, that's three years. Over three years, okay? So, all you do is you pop that in your washing machine with your clothes. And depending on how dirty your clothes are, you can add one, two, or three. I've got one in the washing machine right now. Now, these are not great if you have a lot of stained clothes, um, but the way to get around that is to, is to make a homemade stain remover. Now, this recipe I have here has peroxide, um, bicarbonate of soda and fairy liquid okay so I'll put the link to this this is by my so-called home um, so I'll put a link to her video for you guys to see and you just treat the stains before they go in and you're fine you'll be fine now the one thing you have to remember is that with the eco balls you won't have that chemical smell that you are used to from your normal washing up liquid okay so it's very important that you have a clean washing machine all you have to do for that is get one cup of distilled vinegar put it into your where you normally put your washing powder or washing liquid set your machine to the highest temperature you can before you put it on make sure you clean the rim inside you know the rubber seal inside the washing machine because that's where usually a lot of mildew can get into once you do that close the door set the program run it you're done your washing machine is clean now you can wash your clothes with these okay now this has no fragrance so it's really bizarre my clothes smell cleaned but yet they didn't have a particular scent okay which is fine now what I also do and Melissa Maker from Clean My Space, I've told you the girl's a goddess, uh, makes, gives you two types of, um, two types of clothes softener, okay. Now for towels, I only use white distilled vinegar and you place it in your softener area, you know, the little, um, the little space and I pour in vinegar up to the max line and then sometimes I add a couple of drops of lavender um, oil and that a lavender not only makes your towel smell lovely but it also um, has antifungal properties so it helps prevent any buildup of mold and things like that now the reason why I use vinegar <coughs> excuse me is because I found that with normal softener, I love the smell, but my towels were getting really tough from the buildup. Um, and I found with vinegar and give it a few times, they will soften back up. Okay, so I use that and some lavender oil. The other one, which I've just recently discovered by Melissa Maker, is a combination of Epsom salts, bicarb, and essential oils. Sorry, it took me a minute there. You just put it all together, mix it up, and voila, you pop that in 
to your uh, softener place and your clothes will smell amazing. Now, I'll link her video below that shows you both uh, the two softeners, but um, mine, I made it, so two cups of Epsom salts, uh, half a cup of bicarb of soda, and 40 drops of my favorite essential oils. I use the mix of lavender, uh, lemon oil, and peppermint, okay? Uh, mainly because that's all I have. Now, I intend to buy, sort of every month, buy one different um, um, oil to add to my collection just because I really, really like them. So I'm just discovering new smells. Um, Okay, so the last thing I add on to my washing uh, cycle is one of these Magno Bowls. This is by Ecozone again. I'll link it below for you guys. But this can go in your dishwasher and your washing machine. It's up to you. I, mine just lives in my washing machine. And what it is, it helps prevent lime scales. And again, it lasts such a long time. Can't quite remember how long, but I'm sure it's ages i'll find out and link it below and you guys can see it so you know you guys can buy calgon uh, to help prevent lime scale not only is that extremely expensive i find that i forgot most of the times to add it on so i recently got a washing machine it's less than six months old and i've been using this little baby and like i said it just lives in there when i take my clothes out i just pop it back in and it's ready for the next time and again, you can use it in your dishwasher as well. By the way, I am not being sponsored by anyone. These are my views, my opinions, and this is what I use in my home.